What's a Camp Higher Ground version been like to you? How different is it from last year or any other year you've been here? Uh, I, I think it's significantly different uh, in, in tone and demeanor from last year. Well, I, I mean, I've been out here with some different teams and really good teams that, that, that have handled it. Every experience at Higher Ground is unique because it's unique to the players. And certainly when you have uh, as many new guys as we have that have never been here, and, and, and it doesn't happen at very many other campuses, so mm. they haven't had that experience. How they handle it and how they react to it and how they respond to it, I think it's critical to your team's success. If you, if you don't come out of camp ready to play, uh, it, it's a problem. I, th this group has been incredibly mature and has done a really, really good job. Uh, I love it. And when you have so many new guys, that you got to find ways for them to bond. And it's hard when you're in Clifton, you know, because mm -hmm. they all got different things to do. And a lot of them got their own apartments and all that. All of a sudden, you stuck me in a bunk with, in, in, in a room with a guy I don't know or eight guys I don't know. And I got to I gotta grow up. And uh, so it's really good. Really good. Jordan Young, there was a lot of talk about how much he had progressed mentally and, and you know, in, in that side of it in the offseason. How has he done translating that to the field through camp? He's at a great camp. He's at a great camp. He, I mean, he, he gets challenged every day. I will tell you that I think Xavier Henderson the last week has been a dominant wide receiver. Uh, his legs are finally under him. I think it takes some time. He's running exceptional routes, uh, and he, he, he's tough to cover. And Jordan gets him a lot. And so uh, Jordan has had a great camp. He's tired right now, and that's okay. We're going to play for two weeks. So we got to get our legs back. We got to get. Uh, we got to spend some time doing that, and we will. And uh, he'll be fresh and ready to go uh, by game day. But he's he's had a great off season and a great camp. Coach, you mentioned all the new faces, but with that, you also have a lot of depth this year on that back end. What's been your process throughout camp to kind of narrow down your core group of guys that are going to play the majority of the season? So what I tell them is, uh, every day the challenge is to be game ready. You know, we we got, we would like to have eight game ready guys. We don't right now. I'm going to come out of camp after tomorrow. I'll have a better feel for exactly who I think is game ready. I came out of last Saturday comfortable with four. Uh, we've got we've got work to do uh, with to get four more. And so tomorrow is a big day for those guys. They'll get challenged uh, uh, to see if they are game ready. Uh, so we're, we're we have much more depth. I sat out here last year with seven players. And, uh, and then lost one of the starters seven plays into the first game. So we have an incredible amount more depth at, at, at our position and across the back end, which is very helpful. Are you comfortable with name of the four that you're comfortable with? Uh, game ready, guys? Yeah. Sure, game ready. Uh, Jordan Young, Jordan Robinson, Kaylin Carroll, and Ormani Arnold are game ready today. If we had to play today, we could roll them out there and play. Robinson had a pick today. I mean, that, He that, did. It was a nice play. That, He's coming that along. I mean, you out. He got... He got jacked up for when he could start because of some things out of his control and so he, he missed all, he missed all summer basically so he's really catching up in a hurry but he's doing a great job he's doing a great job and uh he will continue to get better and better i think as as this next two weeks and as the season goes on have you adjusted your coaching style having to fast track him with him getting here late to campus is uh, just the same? i mean yes and no I'll be honest with you, it, it, it's not brain surgery out there. I mean, it's more technique. He's got to get used to me and, and my style and my teaching of the techniques and how uh, I want him to play, which is different. And, and he's doing a good job of that. He asks a lot of questions. But we've had an inordinate amount of meeting time out here. What else is there to do, right? So uh, we, we've had a lot of time together. You guys use those oven mitts. To I'm sorry? The, the oven mitts, the, as you call them, the grill masters. Right? Yeah, well, he bought grill masters because we didn't have enough. Right. God love JD, our, our equipment guy, for doing that. Yeah. I, I started that a long time ago. I used kick, kickboxing gloves because all you get from the offense is you guys are holding me, you guys are holding me, you guys are holding me. And we don't want to hold. We don't, holding creates injuries against your own team, and it's a penalty. So we don't want to hold. So I started a long time ago with kickboxing gloves. Then I just went to the store and bought pot holders. And then that were, you know, those. And then some guy copied them at one of the equipment companies and started manufacturing them. So we started buying them. And now, apparently, guys who grill, they, they use those to just move the meat around. So we, those are cheaper. So we got those and put them on their hands, keep them from grabbing cloth. How fast are you? I, I'm not fast anymore. I used to be. It's a shame. I used to be. Or do you think they're waiting for me? Nope. See, I'll go voluntarily. That's the difference between <laughs> me and them. I'll go voluntarily. I got, I'm not kicking and screaming. 
Hey, if you wait for me, I'll walk right in there with all of you. I got no problem with that. You ain't gonna throw me in. I'll jump in the daggone thing. I'll jump in the thing. You ain't gotta worry about me. I'm coming right now. You got any more questions?